Welcome back to episode 9 of Malaysia Food Fest 2020. In this episode, I will be showing you how to make a delectable dessert, cream puff pastry, featuring the king of all fruits, durian. So we'll start off with our ingredients. We have um, four egg yolks, two teaspoons of vanilla essence, um, a pinch of salt, four tablespoons of cornstarch that's pre-sifted, and half a cup of sugar. So we'll put in all the ingredients into a bowl. Vanilla essence, salt, the sugar, four tablespoon of pre-sifted cornstarch. Before we mix this, we're gonna turn on the fire and heat up the milk. So we've got two cups of milk. So that's gonna take a little time to get heated up. So I'm gonna whisk everything well here and everything, all the ingredients are mixed in together. Be the filling for our cream puff. And it's gonna come together to a nice pale lemon color here. All right. Okay, we're starting to see a bit of bubbles forming. So it's getting there. Okay. And what we're going to do as soon as that heats up and is ready to go, we're going to pour one third of that mixture into this bowl right here. So yes, start to see a bit of the smoke. And we'll do a third of this. We want to blend this all together as soon as that is um, mixed well. We're going to pour it back into the pot and turn on the fire again on medium heat. Turn on the fire and pour this mixture in. So now we're going to whisk this and it will slowly thicken. So as the mixture thickens, we're going to turn off the fire, remove it from the heat. And here's where we need to whisk it and it's going to start forming. This will be the filling for the cream pot. Okay, and we're going to add in the durian, the star of the show. Um, I'm going to use the best great durian that you can find from Malaysia, the Musang King durian. And um, Malaysia is definitely famous for our durian. You can, you can visit Malaysia and do duro tourism, visit the farms and see different variation, taste it, smell it. Um, it's one of a kind experience. So I've got about a cup of durian flesh you know, um, you can buy this at the Asian markets frozen. I've had it thawed out. So we're going to um, put our mixture into the durian. This beautiful custard. Okay. And we're gonna mix in the butter as well. Get all those beautiful yellow colors. And now we're just gonna fold in the durian and the butter and we're going to let this cool to room temperature for about an hour with a saran wrap on it while we work on our shoe pastry which is the puff itself perfect it is ready for cooling down okay. so for the saran wrap you want to kind of get it to protect the top of the custard. Okay, and we'll let that cool. So for the next part of the durian cream puff recipe, we're gonna make the shoe pastry, which is the puff itself. We're gonna combine all the ingredients. We've got 100 milliliter of milk and 100 milliliter of water here. Turn on the fire a little bit. I'm gonna combine all of that into the pot, two tablespoon of sugar, half a cup of butter, 
All right, everything is at room temperature. And we've got one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Pour that in there. And again, a pinch of salt. So uh, we just want to make sure everything is dissolved in here. And uh, get ready our one cup of pre-sifted flour. We're going to have to shoot it all at once. One quick move. And take the wooden spoon. Start mixing this and it should immediately form into a ball or a doughy ball. I want to leave it on the heat until we see a film in the bottom. It's getting there. So this part is just mixing the flour in just about now. Okay, I'm going to bring this doughy ball. I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit. So over here, we're going to let it rest for a few minutes before we mix in the egg one at a time. So we'll let that rest for a few minutes. We're gonna, so we're going to add in one egg yolk at a time or one egg at a time and uh, work it into the mixture. All right, so we've got one egg in there. I think we can add one more. Second egg. We work that in. And about the third egg is when you're going to start seeing it come together. Let's do a third egg. And oh, you can do the last egg too. So we're going to take this batter and fill it into a piping bag. And, uh, carefully pipe this. I'm going to line the baking tray with the silicone mat. And you want to actually pipe about an inch of this. And um, I'll get the egg wash and we'll stick it into the oven that's been preheated at 375 degrees and bake it for about 30 minutes. step is just to apply a bit of egg wash to flatten out the tops so now we're ready um, to stick this in the oven at 375 degrees and bake it for about 30 minutes so after 30 minutes take it out of the oven and we're gonna just um, Poke a hole in each one to release the steam. We're gonna cut open the cream puffs and pipe it with the amazing durian filling. And now we're gonna take um, our custard filling that has already been chilled and we're going to put it into a piping bag I'm going to fill this up here to a piping bag. A very unique fruit. It's definitely one of a kind. It's very creamy, custardy, and it's an unforgettable taste. And um, if you ever visit Malaysia, that is a definitely a fruit that you must try. So let me just get this in here. Not too full. And we already have a tip at the end. So. We're going to pipe this filling in here. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to do the finishing touches here. All right, so got some powdered sugar and some powdered sugar here. I'm just going to sprinkle, lightly dust the powdered sugar onto the cream puff. All right. 
and here we go, we're ready to serve. Plate the cream puff onto here, onto our plate. And there we have it, our Musang King Durian Cream Puff. Hope you'll make this at home for your friends and family. Hey yo, I go by the name Tesla Tag. Welcome everybody to the 2020 Malaysian Food Fest. Are you guys ready to try the taste of Malaysia? Here we go. Let me walk through. Uh, go. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome and wanna come to the Malaysian Food Fest. Specially organized for you. Feel free to try yata delicacies. We got it all from fruits to meat to pastries. Let us start our day with some breakfast. Nasi lemak, roti jana, your hops and crackers. We love them all, but we'll never deny. Kaya and butter in a braid toaster. This a must try. One than me, you can get it bar free. Everything is halal over here. Cause we love to eat food. It's a form of happiness and we love to share it.